Hey guys, Sweeney Guy here, doing a quick little demo, maybe a little review of this uh, Swiss M84 canteen cup and uh, a uh, stove combo. Uh, snowshoe, Maine to Woods 2, was kind enough to send me one, and I told him I'd review it real quick. So. Let's get started, I guess. Okay. Sorry, I can't kneel down. The canteen itself, heavy duty plastic, um, standard top, and um, it's actually heavier duty than a GI canteen. It, uh, it's got a good seal on the top. I believe it holds just under a quart, U.S. quart of water. I had some water put in there. It's got standard, it's got to be cleaned out a little bit more. Uh, there's a little bit of uh, residual storage smell. Can't taste it in the water though. So, it's about all you can do. It is a standard black canteen. The cup is aluminum. Good size. Uh, can't. I haven't measured how much it actually hold. Uh, appears to be about a cup and a half. I'll get my measurements better later if anybody really asks. Uh, good enough to hold a uh, good cup of coffee, cup of tea. Like I said, probably about a cup and a half looks like. So that's the set. That the original set. That's what it comes for. And. Um, Contact him, uh, Maine to Woods, on Bushcraft USA, um, and uh, he seems to be getting a pretty good deal on these. Uh, PM him, and he will find you one. They're very cheap, um, under five bucks for the entire set. So the bonus was he sent me this little cooker. I believe this is a French. Cooker. That's why I believe it said. Has these two little fold-out wings on it, so that you can lay it down. So that will hold a uh, USGI canteen cup as well, and probably a small pot. It does flip in there. Again, stores compact, really light, very basic. These flip up and lock into place. What I'm going to do is, yeah, I'm going to put this in place. And uh, see how long it will take to um, make a little cup of tea. Uh, I have my box of Weber cubes here. This is what's known, um, a lot of people know that these are basically the wet fires, just a lot cheaper. You get this whole entire package, 24 for less than four bucks. I got it at Home Depot for three twenty nine. They are truly awesome. Take a couple out when you need them, wrap them in foil. You can't be really sick. So what I'm gonna do is gonna see if one of these works and uh gets me a nice little cup of tea going here. I'm gonna put a little boil on. Um, one thing I do like about these is again very simple to use. Right in the middle. I'll scrape a little bit off here on the side. So I got something to scrape onto. Grab your good old fire steel right here. Got this inside. As you can tell, I still need a little help. inside my garage because we've got a nor'easter going on and you wouldn't be able to hear squat outside. So, give it a little 
Hey guys, it's been approximately three minutes, <clears throat> um, maybe three and a half. And uh, one thing I like about these Weber fire cubes is they burn pretty well, they burn pretty hot, they don't stink <laughs> like trioxane. And I don't know if you can see that, but that water there, it's boiling. So again, that's half the canteen cup. This Weber fire is still going strong. That's about as hot as I think I need that water. So I'm going to pull it off here. <clears throat> Definitely not hot. And look at that. That cube isn't even anywhere near burnt. I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to blow it out here. <sighs> nope. <clears throat> Can't do it. I'm going to have to snuff it out somehow. So I'm just going to kind of let it burn here for a little bit. Uh, one thing I do want to show you is I'm going to pour some water in here. Now, <clears throat> still burning, and I believe it's still going to go. I really can't see the whole lot of that. So, I'm going to stop it right here. Sorry, guys. Camera shut off. <clears throat> um, after I got that extinguished, I doused it in water. I don't know. You can't really see the water in there. You can see the water on the floor. But, again, um, I cut it up again. That's that wet fire cube, or the uh, Weber cube. Uh, gave it a strike with my uh, fire steel with some... Uh, and uh, there you go. It's still lighting. Good stuff. Let's see if we can, uh, it'll probably spread out now a little bit more. Might be a little bit better idea to uh, do that with this cup. This cup got blackened pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, it's, that comes from the, uh, the wet fire coming up the side. Looks really cool though. So you can see. <clears throat> this thing's still hot as bloody blue blazes though. So. Like a GI canteen cup, you got to be careful what you uh, drink. Uh, I think I'm just going to put it over that little flame right there for a minute. <clears throat> and uh, get back here. Give me a nice little tea bag. Why would it go to waste, right? do all this with one hand. It's kind of awkward. Um, hopefully Santa this year will bring me a uh, new video camera. Let's see. Yep, just a small little flame out there. Just kind of sputtering on. Not to keep that water hot. So... Let's see, I believe, and hopefully Maine to Woods will uh, correct me if I'm wrong, this whole set with the stove, the canteen cup, and the, I believe that's a liter canteen, came to all in all, uh, it's still, I think it was under five bucks. And, uh, I'm pretty sure he said something about it. if he gets enough of them, he can get a case relatively cheap. So give him a buzz. It's a it's a good deal. Um, I'm gonna throw this one in like a, a day pack or something. I believe uh, it will definitely fit inside a uh, 
a USGI canteen cup holder. The one thing that uh, if there was a con about any of this, it is um, the stove truly doesn't nest. <laughs> it's still burning. The stove doesn't nest inside the cup or outside the cup or around the canteen. Um, but it's so short, it, you can put it anywhere. It's really light. So I'm going to use this in some of my kit. Um, I'm sure uh, definitely, definitely great for a budget kit. <clears throat> if you can get a hold of one, again, real quick, works well. And uh, like I said, definitely cheaper than getting a standard. I mean, you can get two of these whole sets for one uh, new GI Canteen Cup. I think they're like 10 bucks. Um, so this is a pretty good set. Definitely impressed. So any questions, give me a holler. This is Sweeney Guy. Everybody have a great weekend. And uh, for those up in the Northeast up here, it, having the uh, Nor'easter, don't blow away. Talk to you later.